Wondering why he won't commit to being your boyfriend? Sick of hanging out and want to be taken on real dates? In this video, I'm going to explore all the reasons men have for choosing to stay single and what you should do if you want to go from hookup to real relationship. Hi, I'm Emily Baker from Love Learnings. As a woman's dating expert, I know a thing or two about men and what motivates them. Keep watching this video and I'll share what I've gleaned from years of research into the male psyche. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a new video every week. So let's get into it. I'm going to cover the typical explanations why men won't commit and some others that you probably didn't think about. 1. It's in his DNA. A commonly held belief is that women are driven to commit to one man and men are driven to sleep with as many women as possible. The argument goes like this. Women and men are both driven to procreate. Since women bear children, they're put in the vulnerable position during pregnancy and while caring for a young child. So it would be more ideal for them to have the father stick around to provide for them and protect them from marauding saber-toothed tigers and such. Men, on the other hand, are not required to carry children, so their ability to procreate is only limited by the number of women they can sleep with. This, they say, is why men are driven to play the field and women are more driven to settle down. This can explain everything from boys will be boys culture to slut shaming and Woody Allen. I'm honestly not totally sold on this idea. Plus, in the modern world, we definitely get to pick and choose which parts of biology we subscribe to and which ones we kick to the curb. But the popularity of this idea on its own is enough to drive many men to give in to their urges to sleep around and avoid commitment like the plague. Unfortunately, this way of seeing the world has been around for a long time. Hopefully as gender roles become less strictly enforced, we'll see a rise of men who don't fear commitment as much as their forefathers. 2. He lacks maturity. Age is more than just a number. It's extremely common for men and women to play the field early on in their adulthood. It's not until our late 20s and early 30s that most people feel the urge to commit to another person for life. And then there are those men in their late 30s and even in their 40s and 50s. How do you do, fellow kids? Who are unwilling to settle down. With these men, it often has to do with their emotional immaturity. They don't have much experience in relationships and can even have a diminished capacity for emotional connection. So be careful about who you're pining after. Is he stable? Does he have a direction in life? Is he on the right path? If the answer is no, you may be better served looking elsewhere. 3. You're pushing too hard for the commitment. This is a warning to all the girls watching this. Men love the thrill of the chase. If you flip it on him and start going after him as hard as he's been going after you, you might just scare him off. Silly, I know, but it's basic human nature to want what we can't have. This is actually part of the reason you're so smitten by this guy who isn't willing to commit to you. Guys want to know that you like them for them, not simply because you'd really like to be in a relationship. If he gets the sense that you're pursuing him for selfish reasons, it's going to be a major turnoff, and you can safely bet it's going to make him pull away and keep you at a distance. 4. Supply and demand. I'll skip the Econ 101 lecture here. Think about the men you're interested in. Are they tall, good-looking, charming, with a great sense of humor? Then is it any wonder that other women are interested in them as well? This is the issue of supply and demand that plagues today's dating market. High-value men are in high demand, and so they have little incentive to limit themselves to one person. 5. He hasn't met the right person yet. This is one of the more welcome answers to this question. It's the one we're all hoping for. Many people are just choosy about who they commit to. This is actually a good quality for all of us to cultivate. Instead of jumping into bed or into a relationship with the first person we meet, we should all endeavor to get to know other people and create real connection. I find that when we get caught up on the idea of a relationship above all else, we can miss out on the little things about one another that make dating special and exciting. 6. He's been hurt before. You know what they say, once bitten, twice shy. We've all had relationships that haven't gone our way in the past. When someone really hurts you, whether this be through infidelity, carelessness, or a sudden breakup, your heart might be hardened the next time someone interesting comes into your life. Keep this in mind as you get to know him, and don't take it personally. Let him go at his own pace and build trust up over time. 7. He will. This is something that gets lost when we look at the dating world as a whole. While it may be true that men are less interested in settling down in general, the truth is that men and women get together every day. 
Sure, the divorce rate is 50%, but that means 50% of couples really do stay together for life. So don't let yourself get caught up in generalizations and the doom and gloom that's so prevalent in the world today. And instead, take things day by day. Don't worry about where things are going, and instead, focus on just getting to know this guy and enjoying one another's company. If you can do that, I think you'll find that true love will be within reach. Thanks for watching. I'm Emily Baker, and I'll see you next time.